हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक सो दिस इज द एट्थ पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ यूजर रजिस्ट्रेशन स्क्रीन बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट इट इज एक्सेप्टिंग डुप्लीकेट यूजर नेम्स एंड डुप्लीकेट ईमेल्स एज यू कैन सी इन द डेटाबेस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉर्ट आउट दिस बर्क दैट इट शुड नॉट एक्सेप्ट डुप्लीकेट यूजर नेम और ई so for this you need to come inside your web server project so again come to sublime or any other text editor that you are using and come inside dboperations.php so we are creating a user here in this function now we will create one more function make this function public as we are calling it from outside the class and now make a private function as this function will be called inside this class only so i am making it private and uh, name it is user exist this function will return either true or false if the user name and email pro provided is already exist on the database then we will return true and if not then we will return false so first again create an statement con prepare and here we will write an sql query select id from users users is our table name users where we have the cell names that should be unique username and email so we will write username equals to question mark or because both should be unique so if username or email any one matches with the database value then that means that user is already exist or user needs to change the username or email so write email as well Okay. Now we need to mind the username and email provided by the user here. So inside the inside this braces, we will write username and email. So we will pass username and email as a parameter to this method. Now we will bind the parameters. So write stmt bind underscore param. Now first parameter defines the data type. So we have two strings. and then username and email now we will execute this now we will store the result now we will see if the above query this query will return any value that means the user is already exist on the database and if this query doesn't returns any value that means user does not exist on the database so we can get it by a property of stmt object which is num underscore rows now if num underscore rows now if this line returns zero that means user does not exist but if this line returns some value greater than zero that means user already exists so we can write here return stmt num underscore rows is greater than zero. Now it will be evaluated to either true or false, depending upon the result we need. So this is it. Now here we will call this function. If this is user exists, and we will pass username and email. If user exists. we will not insert the new user to the database we will only insert the new values if user does not already exist on the database so this is it if user already exist come here and return one okay or let's say zero if the user is inserted to the database return one and if some error occurs return two so with the return value we can track what actually happened so again come inside register user and here 
we will write result equals to db or just copy this now inside if we will check if the result is equals to remove this if result is equal to equal to uh, one one means success is equal to equal to one that means user register successfully again else if result is equal to equal to two that means some error has occurred and else if result is equal to equal to zero that means user already exists on the database so right here please write user already right it seems you are already registered please choose a different email and username okay so i guess this is okay let's try registering again with the same values we registered click here and yes we are getting the message it seems you are already registered so for now our database will not take duplicate values and delete these values for now or we can truncate the database as well go to operations and empty the table okay now let's try registering again user is registered successful registered successfully and we have got the values and if we will again try to register we will get the message that it seems you are already registered and you can see it's not taking duplicate values anymore so that's it for this part of the video friends and if you are having any confusions please leave your comments out there and i will see you in the next video thank you